Hi, I'm McFarlane Muleli. This teacher guide is about the Mindset Learn series of lessons on South African drama. In this guide, we tell you what the series of lessons is about and how it links to the curriculum. We also discuss ideas for using the lessons with your learners. You may want to make notes, so have a paper and pencil ready. Series deals with the skills learners need to explore and explain plays as texts. As an example of a South African play, we use James Ngobo's The Suitcase. However, the techniques and terminology that are taught in the lessons can be applied to any play, particularly those written by South African playwrights. There are 10 lessons in this series. The history of South African theatre, the people behind the scenes, context and setting, bringing the text to life, plot and timeline, dramatic structure, clues about characters, portraying a character, themes of the play, messages of the play. These lessons address a range of outcomes of the national curriculum statements, including the assessment standards, which require learners to recognize how dialogue and action are related to character and theme, explain plot, subplot, character portrayal, conflict, dramatic purpose and dramatic irony, explain dramatic structure and stage directions. Plays were written to be performed, not read. However, often learners don't get to see plays being performed on a stage, but rather have to read the play as a script. In this series of lessons, we use extracts from a performance of the play, The Suitcase, to show learners how different theatrical techniques, such as lighting, props and costumes, are used to tell a story. We also include interviews with actors, the playwright and other theatre practitioners, such as a producer, to give learners a sense of what working in the theatre involves. Although we use one play as an example, the techniques and terminology which we teach could easily be applied to other plays. And having watched extracts from a performance, learners will be better able to imagine how other plays might be acted out on a stage. If possible, you will find it useful to watch the videos by yourself before you show them to your learners. This will enable you to make notes of places to stop the video and ask questions or have a discussion. It will also allow you to see when and how you could best incorporate the video lessons into your learning program. You could also think of activities you could do with your learners before or after watching the videos. Throughout the lessons, you will see the pause icon. The pause indicates a good place to stop the video and get your learners to complete a quick activity or have a discussion about something. Obviously, you don't have to stop the lesson at every pause, but should you choose to use them, you will find that they help to get learners involved and keep them paying attention. To get learners interested in these lessons and to keep them involved, you will find it useful to get them to do the tasks and activities presented in the lesson. These tasks are linked to the learning outcomes given in the lessons and to at least one assessment standard in the curriculum policy. Completing the tasks will give both you and your learners evidence of how well they have achieved the lesson outcomes. The task can also be used as part of a learner's record of progress towards the assessment standards for each grade. Now, let's have a more detailed look at the lessons in the series and how you can use them in your classroom. In the first lesson, we learn about the history of South African theatre. Knowing about the history of theatre, including protest theatre and some of the important playwrights will help the learners to contextualise the play that we study in this series as well as other South African plays. You may well be studying a play by Athol Fugard in class and this lesson will provide interesting information about this playwright and the times in which he wrote. In lesson two, we go behind the scenes and meet a range of people who helped to create the play The Suitcase. 
This lesson will help expose learners to some of the jobs that theatre practitioners perform, which may give learners additional career options to consider. The lesson also gives a sense of just how much planning and work goes into creating a theatrical performance. In this lesson, we discuss the context and setting of a play. Using the suitcase as an example, we show learners how to work out when and where a play is set and how the context of a play is related to the way the story unfolds. Context is a key component to understanding any text, so it would be worth asking learners to discuss the time and place in which their set texts are set and how these factors influenced these stories. Lesson 4 describes how a play is brought to life. Specifically, we focus on how set and costume design relate to mood, theme, character and context. This lesson gives a range of pause opportunities for learners to watch scenes and comment on how theatrical devices have helped create mood and atmosphere. This exercise would be particularly beneficial if learners have had limited opportunities to watch live theatre. In this lesson, the terms plot and timeline are defined. We provide a synopsis of the play, the suitcase, and discuss why the plot was arranged in a certain way. After viewing this lesson, encourage your learners to think of examples of films, plays, and novels that follow the different plot lines that are discussed in this lesson. Lesson 6 explores dramatic structure. In this lesson, we define dramatic structure and use the play The Suitcase to explain how dramatic structure works in terms of introduction, development, climax and denouement. After you have shown this lesson to your learners, get them to work out how the plots in their set novel and play are structured as this will help to reinforce this terminology. In this lesson, we find out how to follow clues about characters. This lesson will help learners to identify clues about a character and then to use this information to make deductions about that character. Although we use examples from the suitcase, the same techniques that are used in the lesson could be applied to any play. The lesson will also show learners how to substantiate their deductions with evidence from the text. In this lesson, we learn how actors portray a character. This lesson includes interviews with actors who performed in the suitcase where they discuss how they went about researching and developing their characters. This lesson will prove to learners that each component of characterization is carefully thought out to portray a character in a certain way. Knowing this will make learners more aware of what traits to look out for when they are assessing a character. In this lesson, we explain how to identify themes in a play. As an example, we look at the way in which the theme of love despite obstacles is developed in the suitcase. However, the skills of identifying and discussing a theme can be applied to other plays. To extend this lesson, you may want to ask the learners to take another theme raised in the suitcase and to discuss how this theme is developed in the play. In the final lesson, we learn how to identify messages in a play. By now, learners will be quite familiar with the story of the suitcase and you may want them to discuss what messages they think the play conveys prior to showing this lesson. You could also ask learners to list questions that the play has raised in their own minds. In this lesson, we discuss the fact that one of the aims of the theatre is to stimulate discussion. To extend this lesson, you may want to organise a class debate around some of the questions raised by the suitcase. We hope that you will enjoy using these lessons to teach learners about South African drama. If you would like more information about using these lessons or lesson notes for each lesson, please refer to our website www.mindset.co.za. Thank you.